Hey, I'm Mike Draper with American Window Cleaning Magazine and TV, and uh, we're really excited today. We've got what I would call uh, the interview of the year. Uh, we're going to be talking to none other than Sorbo Samuelson, the maker of uh, Sorbo Squeegees, and uh, we're just really, really excited uh, to have him on the show today. This episode brought to you by Sky Genie, number one selling chairs in America. Hey, Sorbo, how are you today? Oh, I'm wonderful. Thank you, Mike. I, I am. It's such a privilege uh, to get to talk to you screen to screen. I guess not face to face, but screen to screen. And uh, you are you are just one of the great people in the industry. I just this is so nice to be able to have you on screen. Well, thank you for calling me. No problem. So we, um, you know, I was a, a window cleaner uh, just like yourself at one point in time. And uh, I really appreciated the tools through the years. I used them uh, many, many times. And uh, awesome job on the quality of the tools and just the way everything worked. The rubber was always great. I uh, really appreciate you. Well, thank you so much. Well, we try our best to get the products out there that works great for our window cleaner friends. Yeah. So how many years has it been now since you developed the squeegee? Well, it's, uh, you know, I started to clean windows 1972, 71, 72, and uh, I invented the uh, 3x4 squeegee 1986, and uh, that was the first adjustable squeegee ever made. But uh, I had two inventions before that, but uh, uh, one thing led to another. I invented the trick at uh, the Louvre uh, window cleaner first and that was uh, 1984 because i got some apartments uh, where we had uh, like 800 windows uh lure oh, wow. windows and no, nobody would do it but then uh, i invented the duck at the speedy blade sharpener and because of that i invented the adjustable speed okay so in 1986 1986 yes yeah. Yeah, so in 1972, you started cleaning windows. So, I mean, as good as you look, that must have been you five years old in 72? No, I was around uh, 65 years old then. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was 20, 24. 24. In the young 70s now, you see. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. So... Let me ask you something I've heard uh, through the years, and I just want to verify that this is true or not. Uh, one of the things, so I've got a couple of your, your squeegees here uh, in the studio with me that uh, you sent me. Thank you. And we'll probably do some giveaways with these. But uh, it was always your mentality, I heard, that you would, uh, a window never deserve more than two passes on the glass. And that's why you developed the, the squeegee to remove the, the, the um, channel and uh, to be able to clean very fast. Well, that was the point, you know, to reduce labor. And uh, I always strive for that, you know. I, I really wanted window cleaners, and in the beginning myself, of course, to work less and make more money. And uh, it turned out to be that way, because uh, when I invented the 36-inch squeegee with the new uh, adjustment, you know, you could adjust it out, so it would actually remove the full width of the squeegee without pressing too hard. We could actually do a house that took four hours and three hours. And we realized that uh, the labor work was a lot less and we actually uh, gained time and we made more money. So that's the reason I made that. And of course, we tried it for a year and a half before we even, in our company, before we even started to market it. Yeah. So all these guys that uh, you see online and everything doing the, the uh, S motion on the glass with a Sorbo, they're actually... They're not doing it the way it was intended, but you don't care, do you? <laughs> no, I don't care. You know, uh, even then, you know, the squeegee is very straight and very solid, you know, and uh, very light. So it, it actually works very well, you know, any size, really. And uh, if the guys want to do more exercise, that's up to them. You know? Right, right. <laughs> so tell me about... Uh, tell me about the notches. So there's a there's a notch in your rubber, and there's also a notch in the 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 uh, channel itself. What were those designed for? Well, you know, uh, when I invented that uh, large squeegee, I made one in wood, the first prototype, and uh, 
I realized that uh, since the squiddy is 36 inches long now, because we never used anything that long before, the 24 inch was the largest squiddy you had, and it was an hunger squiddy, and I think it tore it up with 22 inch. But anyway, I realized that uh, that long rubber, uh, if I can use it more at once, and uh, then I can save money there too. So I invented those notches so you can uh, re-sharpen, because I already had the sharpener. And uh, I realized that to sharpen, buy a sharpener, and uh, sharpen it only once would be very expensive sharpener, you know. So I put those grooves in there to be able to sharpen it 12 times. Oh, nice. And, uh, and the rubber I made with uh, a shape, and then I made a little notch on the side of it to fill up a brass squid. So actually, it's a universal rubber uh, because when you put the tip brass squid, it jiggles in and out, you know. And I didn't want it to do that, you know, so I put that extra little ridge there to keep it solid in the brass or the standard squeegee, you see. Gotcha. And one, I seen you at the IWCA convention. I don't remember what city it was in, but I seen you there and you were doing a demo and you pulled the, the squeegee across the glass, uh, just like this. You dropped it down and shoved it back across. And that... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that blew my mind. I was like, what did he just do? <laughs> yeah, you know, I discovered a lot of things uh, when I was doing those uh, uh, shows, you know, on different places, and I realized that you can go backwards, you know, so you can actually clean windows either way, you know. Right, right. Um, speaking of the IWCA, I hear that you're going to be the keynote speaker this year at the IWCA in Kissimmee, Florida. Well, that's what uh, that's what I heard too, you know, and I'm excited about that. Yeah, I, I'm excited about it too. I'm I'm definitely going to be there, and I think uh, many many people will will be there and want to see that. Um, I, that's going to be very very exciting. Yeah, it really will. I'm I'm honored, you know. So uh, thank you so much. No problem, uh, Sorbo. I know you're a busy guy, and uh, I really really appreciate you taking a few minutes and uh, sitting down and uh, speaking with me today. Well, there you have it, guys. The uh, interview with uh, Sorbo Samuelson. He is gonna be at the IWCA convention uh, this year as the keynote speaker. Wow, what an awesome time that'll be uh, to have uh, that industry knowledge uh, at that convention. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing everybody there. I'm Mike Draper with AWC TV, signing off. Stay tuned for our next episode of AWC TV by following us on YouTube, Facebook, or our website, awcmag.com.